The last sentences of national anthems around the world. France with let's march, let's march, let an impure blood water our furrows. Germany with flourish in this fortune's blessing, flourish German fatherland. Italy with let us join in a cohort. We are ready to die, we are ready to die, Italy is called. Finally, the Netherlands, I have granted a lifelong loyalty to the king of Spain? Did you misunderstand the assignment, Dutch people? I get this line probably went real hard like five centuries ago, but now it's a little out of date. Then again, it's still better than actual Spain's, which has no lyrics. Socialist nationalism is on the rise in Germany. What are you doing, step bro? Oh, that's right. I completely forgot Austria and Germany are kind of like step siblings. But let's not pretend if Germany started another world war, Austria wouldn't be right behind him. Finding the Excuse bathroom me. in uh, Europe rest, rest be room? like, I'm so uh, glad okay. that I finally uh, yeah, found so, um, a video to perfectly here, represent my thoughts about going into the restroom in Europe. So it seems like, you know, in the US, you kind of just maybe go to the back. Uh, meanwhile, for some reason in Europe, um, yeah, you have to like explore caves, possibly a couple of, uh, creepers pop out. It's like a three mile journey through the catacombs, basically. Even if I didn't even have to use the restroom in a restaurant in Europe, I would still go just to see what the journey was going to be like. I present to you all for the very first time, the new Otaku president of Argentina. Is this technically the first weeb in office? I mean, there's gotta be more, right? Ridley Scott says, French don't even like themselves after criticism of his Napoleon movie. I mean, that's definitely one thing to say after making a movie about the French. I'm actually kind of terrified to watch this film. POV, you just crushed humanity's puny fleet, and now Earth is yours for the taking. Uh, three seconds later, have fun with your irradiated nuclear rock. If we humans can't have it, um, nobody can. I actually like this policy. Can we all agree to do this if this happens? I also do want to see how an alien fleet would do against multiple nuclear warheads. Pluto hasn't made a full orbit around the sun since it was discovered in 1930. I wouldn't finish my job if I got fired either. They were a planet for decades, then we were like, nah, you ain't a planet anymore. Then they just stopped listening to Newton's first law of gravity. Other neighbors in NATO just having a good old time. Meanwhile, Turkey and Greece in NATO. Um, they don't play around. I'm convinced they joined NATO just so they could freely go to war with each other and not have the other side have NATO support. Now it's fair. The circled region has too many countries. They should merge some of them. I'm afraid to tell you this, but <laughs> trust me, they tried that already and it went terribly. You could even say horrifically. I can't wait to turn into a member of the EU, says this caterpillar looking at the EU butterfly. Yeah, me too, replies Turkey. Wait, but Turkey, you're... Uh, you're not a caterpillar. Oh man, okay, I don't think I have the heart to tell him. To be fair, I don't even know if Serbia is gonna make this transition either. Turkey, just walking down the street. Bump, oh, they just ran into Greece. Uh, uh. Oh man, the Turks just called in their homies for reinforcement. Oh wait, the Greeks also just called in their homies for reinforcement. It feels like it's pretty much all of Europe, as well as India and the US and Egypt and Cyprus and Israel. Yeah, Turkey's homies aren't down to fight all that. Oh man, this is a little awkward. Be careful who you bump into next time. I despise my national railway network. Oh look, here's Germany. Oh, oh. <laughs> I hate the German one way more though. Maybe it's bad, but it's not that bad. But as an American, at least Germany has a nice railway network. Meanwhile, the Latin countries, Portugal, Spain, and Italy, on a video call with Romania. Meanwhile, France, not really a part of the group. I love the fact that Romania has to be on a video call, since geographically speaking, they aren't really connected to the others. It's so funny because whenever you talk to Italians, Spanish, or Portuguese, they all say they can kind of understand each other, but they also say they do not, however, understand French. They kind of just out here alone. You're gonna die for some islands, says Argentina. So Someone is, responds, I think that's the British naval flag. But yeah, I already know the islands. Uh, we're referring to the Falklands. Oh, someone already made a preemptive Wikipedia box about what will happen. Literally tonight's dinner with co-workers, I ordered carne asada tacos and this is what was served. Location, of course. Germany. I've noticed this myself. The further away from Mexico you go, the worse Mexican food gets. Like, it just becomes unrecognizable. This might be enough for a declaration of war, I think. Smart people only, this sign reads. Psst. What's the temperature for freezing? Uh, 
zero? Wrong. Beat it, loser. Meanwhile, the glove that was going on inside, F you. This is the dumbest thing I think I've ever seen. Even as an American, I have to say, the freezing temperature being zero makes a lot of sense. It makes much more sense. What is the reason behind the increased attention of the United States to Kazakhstan? Two seconds ago, Kazakhstan just kicked out both Russia and China. Um, unfortunately, um, well, I, I don't really know how this is gonna go. Kazakhstan never won, though. You cannot defeat us, says Twitter, Apple, Microsoft, and Meta. We know, respond all these countries, but he can. The e you out of nowhere. The European Union really has become the kryptonite for a lot of mega corporations. Behold our nuclear doctrine for the French military. We will nuke you a little as warning, and if that don't work, we will expend our entire stockpile, wiping you out of every last one of your miserable cities. Interesting, but where is the counterforce component of this doctrine so as to ensure our own survival? Counterforce, they respond. Yeah, that whole thing isn't really a part of the plan. We're just trying to nuke someone else and to oblivion. This reminds me of how during the Cold War, if World War III broke out, France's plan was just to completely obliterate West Germany with nukes, even though those two were allies. Days since a border drawn by the British created an international conflict. Man, oh man, we're still going. This counter hasn't even got past like a hundred days yet. Bulgarians doing cosplay. Meanwhile, Slovenians doing cosplay. And honestly, both of these cosplays, 10 out of 10. These two countries both really good at it. Turks calculating how they lost control of the world after being Sumerians, Egyptians, Hebrews, Celtics. Moors inventing everything and discovering America. God tried to give Turkey all of Earth, but since Turkey is nice country, he gave it back. The explanation is simple. One of the first things you learn as a young Habsburg is how to make the shadow double eagle. The shadow double eagle? No, 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 no. They're all secretly Albanian. These two battles comparing the Serbs to Croatians, both fought against the Ottomans. Both kings died. Serbs got their butt kicked. Croats got their butt kicked. Despite this, both Serbia and Croatia ended up celebrating because the Sultan was oofed and the Turks suffered heavy losses. Wait, did one person do the home work first? Is is that why Croatia's copying? I mean, regardless, a dub to them is a dub, right? A dub is a dub. You use the Latin alphabet because it's the only script you know. I use the Latin alphabet because it's the only script you know. We are not the same! This is like three levels deeper than the original one of this meme. Him saying he, he speaks English because it's the only language you know. Ah, uh, yes. How Korea prevents people from jumping. That's a pretty smart idea, just Slovenia. Oh, cool. Look at this awesome statue in London. Oh, hey, wait a second. Wait a minute. I'm in Paris, and I ordered an oat milk latte, and the waiter said no. That's crazy. I had a very similar experience, but in London, I asked the bartender for, like, a margarita or something, and he just said no and gave me a beer. <laughs> That's not a joke. That happened. Did you know there's a political party in Hungary called the Two-Tailed Dog Party, whose only purpose is to make fun of the political activities? I'm actually incredibly jealous. Hungry? How, how do I get that? Man, I want that here in the U.S. Describe the Marxists, your government. Meanwhile, Slovenia. The um, the looters, it, and people who, in many instances, have absolutely no clue <laughs> what, they are, what doing. they are doing. Oh, did I say Slovenia or Slovakia? I feel like there's a lot of interesting things happening in Slovakia. I'm probably part of the problem. I'm probably the reason why their government's so crazy. This is my neighbor, Slovakia, says the Czechs. I get cute funny train, he gets cute funny train. I get cool double decker, he gets cool double decker. I get speedy this thing, he derails. Fix your damn rail infrastructure for FFS. Oh, well, that was a twist to this meme I haven't seen before. How U.S. history is taught versus what actually happened. Um, yeah, they tend to, uh, they tend to sugarcoat some things in our public school systems. And by some things, I mean all of it. <laughs> you cannot be high in Hawaii. You cannot be okay in Oklahoma, but you can be ill in Illinois. It's actually extremely common. Being ill is chill. Urban Americans when America is invaded. Meanwhile, rural Americans when America is invaded. They've actually been waiting for this moment for their entire life. There would be nothing more exciting than this for them. Wish I had that same ability. The fact that Elvis was drafted into the military at the height of his stardom is so crazy to me. Like, imagine you're in the middle of a war and 
you hear someone shout, cover me, and it's Beyonce. The funny thing about this is this actually happens in Korea. All the K-pop stars have to join. Germany on their war crimes, we're extremely sorry about what our country did, and we'll do everything we can to educate our children. Yeah, yeah, Serbia on their war crimes. Um, I don't even think we need to say, we, we know what they're, what they're gonna say. Serbia takes just a, a different stance, I guess. When I'm in a, uh, being a snobby rich Tesla kid pretending to be a working class competition, and my opponent is everyone in Norway. I actually did recently see Norway has the most Teslas per capita in their population. They're big fans of that car. Europe, but if it was based. Here we have British Albania, British Andorra, British Armenia, British Austria, British Azerbaijan, British White Ruthenia, uh, this is Belarus, British Belgium, British Estonia, British Denmark, British Bohemia, British Cyprus, British Croatia, British Bulgaria, British Bosnia, British Finland, British, uh, Crown of Ireland. Well, okay, whatever. British Malta, British Poland, British Slovenia. It's all British. Um, this would be definitely a lot simpler of a map, I guess. I mean, all of Europe would just be British at this point. But man, oh man, I think I would jump off a bridge having to be forced to look at these flags for the rest of my life. The freaking watermark symbol in the corner. No, thank you. British Vatican City. I will actually pass. Polish people, when they see name ending with ski in the credits, that's gotta be pretty awesome. You can just like look at people's names and know instantly, yo, that's like my third cousin. Wish I had that. The sun never strides on the British Empire. The Empire will strike back. These are different countries represented by movie posters. Some of these are kind of hard to figure out what country it's supposed to be. This one definitely is not. That's Italy. A bunch of scary mafia members. There's the Swiss, which on its surface looks like it'd be an interesting film. Obviously, it would take place in the Alps with Swiss watches, Swiss army knives, and chocolate. I would watch it. There's the Romanian movie poster, which for some reason reason everything's just on fire. Belgium's just looks like a quirky Wes Anderson film. Or maybe the waffles are gonna talk like Toy Story. The Netherlands, which apparently lives in a cyberpunk universe. Is this Dutch Ryan Gosling? In this movie, he's just staring at a sexy bicycle. I'm disappointed there's no Lego in this one. Is this supposed to be Norway? Oh my goodness, the Norwegians look horrific. Finally, there's Greece, which this one actually looks pretty epic. And big thanks to the patrons. Drew, I'm your dad, back with the milk. Look outside. John Denver. Luxembourg lover. I can't can't sleep without Drew's voice. Aaron F. Amateur Archaeology. Fat. Carmel Norwal. Frederick Tiblin. Good ol' Ryan. Inquisitor. Jack Trayton's annoying friend. Let me know is ten. Best Robert Ryan. E. The Pie. The Great Sebi, if you hear this, the I love you. And why am I doing this?